walked up the stairs and disappeared forever. Why are you so afraid to talk to me? And what I said was, I don't know. What I should have said was, because I'm fucking terrified of spiders. And no, I'm not calling you a giant, hairy, scary arachnid who crawled its way into my heart with your eight giant, hairy, scary legs, only to lay millions of tiny, hairy, scary eggs that would hatch and crawl with their tiny, hairy, scary legs throughout my veins and through my bloodstream until they burst through my chest cavity like that scene in Alien. And no, I'm definitely not saying that those tiny, eight-legged creatures that crawl through the floorboards from the depth of hell just to terrorize me every goddamn time I take a shower are the reasons that I can talk to you sometimes. Basically, I'm trying to tell you that I'm afraid of everything. Like, frankly, I'm afraid of my roommate because sometimes he puts on a wrestling mask he calls Jeremy and hides beneath the blankets on my bed waiting for me to fall asleep just so we can pounce and fulfill some incredibly weird sexual fantasy that I'm honestly not that okay with. And I'm afraid of how this poem will do. I'm worried my line won't flow or my wordplay won't hit so I talk fast and joke a lot hoping that maybe the audience will laugh over these shitty stanzas. But see, it's difficult to tell you what's wrong when I don't know myself. The man in my brain has unplugged these cords and my brain's powering down and I'm running out of juice and I'm waiting on answers I know I won't get. And I'm afraid of a God who I'm not sure exists, hoping his hands have touched me, saving me from sins I didn't know apply. I pray to Jesus all in Buddha, hoping to reach heaven or nirvana, but right now this place smells like teen spirit and death, or to do things that aren't really that far apart, because as distant as they are from death, teens can't get it off their minds like sex. The brain's cluttered with tombstones and tits, it's a Game of Thrones marathon inside their heads, and they're just waiting to off the main character in this week's climactic conclusion. And if you've learned anything from Game of Thrones, it's that death comes after life, and life comes after sex. So death and sex really aren't that different. You never want to be the one who comes first. And death doesn't smell like hot, rotting or decay with hospital rooms and clean cotton sheets. It sounds like car crashes and flat lines to that song that plays on the radio just before you run that red. It looks like pale faces and wrinkled skin, tastes like rum but stings like vodka. And it's eager to crack a bottle than a smile when your family's in the hospital and you're waiting on whens rather than ifs, knowing that one day it'll be your turn. But right now this grim reaper's blind, deaf, and dumb, meaning I can hide for just a little while longer. And in this crazy dystopian mind of mine, I like to think that I'm a giver, but I've given all I've got and I've got nothing more, but I present you with this, a list of fears that keep me up at night with thoughts of what I've done wrong and what I haven't done right. I'm afraid of falling in love or out of touch with my best friends because it's happened before, why wouldn't it happen again? So I put an axe on the whole best friend thing and started to hang out with people I kind of knew who kind of knew me and we kind of did things that we kind of all like but never really loved, knowing that we would always have some kind, someone to fall back on if ever, anything ever kind of went kind of wrong. Seriously, I play people for my own benefit like my roommate plays The Sims, obsessively and way too often to be healthy or moral. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'm afraid of where I'll go when I die and I know that you always say, baby, hold steady because heaven's whenever you want it to be, but don't tell me to stay positive when a barrel full of bullets for breakfast sounds better than a bowl of very bare banana flakes crunch for brunch. I'm unstable and insecure, self loathing anti-socialite with self-esteem that will make a suicide proud. I know the bus times by heart, I sleep with my socks on, and I can't even count the number of times that I've stood at the threshold with everything I own in one bag, a note on the table, tears running down my face, wanting to run, but being too afraid of another step because I'm too much of a coward to be a coward. You see, I'm afraid of a lot. And right now, this place is full of spiders. And I'm fucking terrified of spiders.